That's a bad man. <laughs> that is... Oh, that's a bad man. Man, oh my god. Book... Book of Boba Fett has completely diverted away from Boba Fett. Boba Fett, for the most part, has taken a seat back these last two episodes. And I fucking love it. In any other show, I'd be pissed off if the main character just fucked off to nowhere and new people, well, not really new people, but different people took center stage for two episodes. Last episode, solid fucking episode with Mando, bringing my boy back, explaining his difficulties with wielding the Darksaber. All that shit's great. This episode, this episode was like the cameo episode and it was absolutely great because Cad Bane is still a bad man. At, oh my God. I know a lot of people are getting tired of Tatooine, but I really feel as though Tatooine is the perfect place for just taking all of those creative Western style things you want to do with Star Wars and put them on the big screen. It's fantastic. Dusty towns in the middle of nowhere, sand whipping all over the place, lawmen, outlaws, great. When Cobb Vance first shows up and he takes out those members of the syndicate and he shoots those pikes, the very first thought I had was he probably shouldn't have killed. No, he probably shouldn't have left that one pike alone. Horrible idea. He should have put them all down instead of letting that one get away. Because in Cobb's mind, he's like, okay, I'm not going to kill all of them. I'm going to send this one on his way so that he can warn the others not to come through my area anymore. No, <laughs> it's the Wild West. You put them all down. Because if that guy's a member of a posse, he's going to go and get his posse to come back and wipe your town off the map. And it's essentially kind of sort of what they did, which is essentially he went back to the syndicate and was like, look, there's a lawman out there. Quick draw. The quickest draw I've seen yet. And you know Cad Bane's ass was sitting in that pub like, really? The quickest, the fastest draw you've ever seen. Where exactly is this town? <laughs> you know he got his hat on? Where exactly is this? And he just leaves. And he's like, nope, there's no way I'm going to allow somebody to be on this fucking planet who's a faster quick draw than me. And uh, the question has to be had, did, 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 did he wait for the Mandalorian to leave? Because it seems as though Cad Bane waited until the Mandalorian left and then he revealed himself, which he was like, because he says something to Cobb, which was, which was, which lets me know that he was watching Cobb for a while, which is you should have kept your armor. So he was aware of the fact that Cobb Vanth had Boba Fett's armor. And I'm wondering if he probably went to go search for him at some point in time, saw that it wasn't Fett and left. So when he comes back, he know exactly who Cobb is. Perfect. I love the tension which is Cobb knows this dude's dangerous, but he doesn't know who he is. And his deputy is just, just fucking clueless as most deputies are who don't understand what's going on and are completely in over their head. And the standoff is fantastic. The tension is just there because you're sitting there and you're like, they don't understand what's about to happen. Cad Bane is probably gonna kill them all. And the music's playing in the background, the wind is blowing, the sand is picking up in the background, and then wham, 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 wham. <laughs> like, I like the fact that he shoots Cobb in the shoulder, but before he shoots Cobb Vanth in the shoulder, he, he raises his, uh, cause the entire time he's talking, like his hat's tilted down, and then he raises up the hat, and Vanth finally sees his face, and knows exactly who the fuck he is. And before he can tell the deputy, I'm assuming to stand the fuck down, he gets shot in the shoulder, which it looks like it was a shoulder shot or shot in his like upper, upper chest, like right around here. And he goes down, but that fucking deputy got absolutely blasted because Cad Bane unloaded that entire shooter into him. Just boom, 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 boom. Dude was just, <laughs> he's, just he's just in the corner. Funniest shit. Well. Rest in peace, deputy. You, you, 
you tried it with Din, and Din didn't shoot you on sight. You tried it with uh, Cad, and Cad put you out of your fucking misery. But, oh. Book of Boba Fett's so fucking good. <laughs> and, uh, and it's horrible because it's great because of all the cameos. And I'm going to talk about all the cameos because they're absolutely fantastic. Oh, but this is the Cobb Vance hype cameo discussion. Anybody else excited that like we're getting all of the the dope ass Clone Wars characters in live action? Who's next? Dengar? I'd love to see Dengar. IG-88? Bring him in. We haven't had an IG unit since the season one of Mandalorian. I'd love to see an IG unit again. Bosk? Please bring in Bosk. So good. <laughs> Absolutely so good. If you are hyped as shit that we finally got Cad Bane in live action, comment down below. Let me know. Let's discuss it. Who do you think they're going to be adding next? Because uh, Book of Boba Fett is dope as shit. And I really feel as though it's mostly for the cameos and has nothing to do with, with Boba Fett at all. But I will catch you in the next one. Peace.